Yo people, it's CK bringing you a tutorial on Cinema 4D, how to do some, uh, well, yeah, you can basically see it here. Uh, you got its text moving in and then uh, boom, exploding. Yeah, pretty slow this animation, but you can speed it up and do whatever you want with it. So, let's get started. Um, let's see. Uh, there, we got it. I just choose to have 150 frames, which is the same as 5 seconds for this. If you have 30 seconds per f 30 frames, 30 frames per second. <laughs> sorry, uh, for well, the comp composition. I think most people just leave it with that. Um, uh, yeah. So first, I have I am in like created some uh, random blocks for reflection around. You don't really need that. Just how I have it, and also a camera. It's very uh, smart to leave a camera there. Okay, but let's get started. First, you will need to install a plugin called Tharusi, which will pop up inside here when you install it. I will leave a link to the site in the description. It's from Nitro 4D, which makes a lot of cool, a lot of cool uh, plugins and yeah, tutorials on uh, Cinema 4D. So let's get. Uh, um, first, I will I'll use the extrude nerves and text object combo for making the three text in this uh, settings here because the MoGraph uh, text won't look that good when you explode it. It will look kind of well. Never mind, it won't look that good. So just make it how you want. Just gonna have some the caps like that one look better so that's really personal taste uh, and make it can make it a little bit bigger doesn't really matter that much um, and also I would, uh, would yeah that's pretty much it uh, then you have to choose both these objects not just the uh, extrude nerve because uh, if you won't explode the right way if you just choose that one when you break it up kind of bird but just choose both of them and go to mo no uh, plugins tharusi and uh, yeah set uh when you choose the pieces it will be for each of the letters so i think 10 pieces for each letter will be good enough and just uh, bump the random seed a little bit up because also got to tick the box and uh, break them up works and bam that's done. You see now you have four objects here one for each letter and uh, you gotta delete the rigid body tag uh, or else yeah or else it will just fall down like this and yeah now it's gone <laughs> you don't want it to fall down trust me that's that's boring so just delete those and uh, tick them open because we want to choose or to target all of uh, the different pieces. So, to the top, just uh, hold down Shift from first click the lowers the piece at the end and then go up and remember to hold down Shift when you click the upper one. Um, after that, we're go gonna go to the MoGraph tab and uh, choose Random Effector. As you can see, now you can like all of these are bound to that one so you can yeah that's what's happened when you bump up the strength uh, so now we want to yeah you can mess up a little bit see it that it's like how you want it to look uh, it's random anyway so uh, just uh, tick this rotation box and mess a little bit around with this make this much bigger at least I think that's much cooler when it like explodes it looks much better if it's big explosion and yeah do a little bit like that and turn on some rotation could have some rotation it looks much better just don't take too much because that won't look too it looks just like Mickey Mouse running around well that was weird uh, so now to look like this when it explodes cool if you ask me um, yeah so, what you also can do is when you made 
the bre broke up the objects you got these well I got four that was strange but I don't I just think this this one are the one affecting layer Let's see if I'm right yeah it is so we can like mess with those a little bit make them the colors you want you can just stick with black and also there is a lot of whatever other thing you can do with the materials but you probably know that already uh, so now it will look something like uh, this when you turn on the strength awesome <laughs> and now we're just gonna animate it so uh, as you can see in the uh, movie I showed you at the start I have the text like first moving into uh, into the view and then exploding so here you can do the same thing you can you know from here you can like choose to do whatever you want but I think it looks nice when it comes in like that uh, so just moving out and yeah close these so that you can animate it nicely okay just choose all the objects so that you animate all and uh, yeah the first frame you will start behind the camera like I think right behind it's the best because you don't need to like wait 15 frames and just just wait 15 frames for the text to come into the picture then on 30 you can like on one second put it to here and like that and then make it go for well to 90 like behind this is a really slow slow animation so it will not look that fast but you can do whatever you want with just that uh, and then I want to go to well a half second later we can start exploding first we need to set the null point well if I can call it null point that was a strange word uh, just go into the random effector and uh, yeah you can't just use these for it because that's only for the movement so you need to right click on the strength this little prick here <laughs> So it's called dot. I mean, <laughs> uh, just click, uh, right click on that one, and go to animation, add keyframe, and then go to 105. That's a half second because, yep. And then you can turn it up to, let's say, yeah, somewhere up there. Just go here, add the keyframe. Uh, now it will look like this, and uh, yeah, just let it go to 100. Blast keyframes looks more like an explosion if it's fast in the start you know so now we created just created this animation uh, like this text comes in slows down and boom it explodes it's a really cool effect if you ask me <laughs> that look kind of strange but <laughs> yeah uh, I think that's it pretty much hope you got uh, understood what I was saying uh, hope it was easy uh, so yeah it got pretty long but it was my first tutorial so don't be too hard it was requested by my friend which wonder how I did one of the effects in one of my uh, edits for a friend other friend I have so yeah this has been Asik and I'll see you around peace